hello. Oh, my God. Oh, what's happened? I love these foghorns. <laughs> the sound of a party. Predict what Jessica Knappett... Kerry Godleyman... Phil Wang... Rod Gilbert... James Acaster will do with one of the objects and do something yourself with one of the objects. You also get five points if Rod Gilbert... Phil Wang... Kerry Godleyman... Jessica Knappett... James Acaster correctly predicts your own action. What a good task. <laughs> right. Firstly, we should definitely shine a light on your impression. Thank you. Perhaps you'd like to do it live. <laughs> so the idea is you want to be predictable and good at predicting. Yeah. Uh, we're going to start with Rod and Jess making their prediction. I know what James A. is going to do. That's easy. A. Cass will take the tenner. He's skint. <laughs> what do you think Kerry Godleman will do with one of these things? I think she'll be like that. Can I have this? <laughs> okay, you... Free money, brilliant. That's what she'll do. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is a terrible impression. I'm so sorry. I think her impression of the horn is better than her impression I of me. I think so, too. Well, you, <laughs> you, you don't think that you sound like a drunk Phil Mitchell? <laughs> James, Rod suggested that you're... Struggling a bit financially. Yeah. <laughs> I spent 500 quid on fizzy belts. <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. Yeah? Absolutely makes sense. All right, well, let's see, let's see if they got it right. I think you already knew I was going to do this one. And I would hope that Rod would also know that I'd do this. Why are you doing it? Huh? Why are you doing it? Cos I'm punk. Do you have to wear these for that? And I think I'll just take that tenner. Okay. <laughs> See you later then. Thanks, Kerry. Bye. Bye. Well done. So predictable. Well done. <laughs> Very predictable. So for that, Jess and Kerry both get five points for that, and Kerry gets ten pounds. <laughs> You want to see the rest? Yep. Yeah? OK, this is all the rest doing all the rest. Here we go. Uh, all I've got to do is get into Phil Wang's head and think about what he thinks of me. I know he's a big fan. <laughs> right. Just snap it. I mean, I think she'll just bite the apple. Although... Surely everyone wants to do that. Are you changing your answer? I feel like I am, because... Surely everybody wants to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to do the noise myself. <laughs> come on, Phil, come to me. Come to me, Phil. Wang reckons I'm going to blow the air horn. I think Rod Gilbert, being a proud Welshman, is going to blow an air horn at a picture of the Queen while screaming. <laughs> Am I allowed to do it in your face? If you want. Right, I reckon Phil... would do this. There's a mischievousness to him. Naughty boy. Naughty boy. Sounds a bit seedy, doesn't it? That? <laughs> Wang. Uh... <laughs> Kerry had a tough job predicting that Phil would have done that. Yeah, of course, of yeah. course she did. Yeah. And you're the only person who didn't understand the importance of predictability. Um, well, I presumed she knew I liked saying my name from time to time. <laughs> How and... did I know that? Why would I know that? Did I know that? Well, it's, well, it's I mean, Wang, isn't it? This is a... <laughs> <laughs> is that and, a... and a boy's got to eat. <laughs> a naughty boy got to eat and say Wang. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't see I don't see comment. why everyone's looking at me like I'm the weird one here. <laughs> What it means, they actually all get five points except for Jess, who gets ten, because she was the only one who predicted and was predicted correct.
<laughs> OK, for only the second time this series, please, will you make your way to the stage for the final task of the show? <laughs> Alex, who's reading the task out? Phil Wang. <clears throat> Make the highest tower of cans within your hoop. You have 100 seconds during which you must also be within your hoop. If you step out of your hoop during the 100 seconds, you will be disqualified. After the 100 seconds, you must step out of your hoop and not touch your tower again. Highest self-supporting tower of cans within your hoop, 10 seconds after the final whistle, wins. OK, and remember... If you step out of the hoop during the construction of the tower, you'll be disqualified. Everyone ready? 100 seconds start. It's <laughs> quite a big tower. Are you, try are you trying to reach them? Be careful of this bit. Yeah. Are you still in your hoop, Phil? I've not stepped out of it. Are you sure? Stay after the 10 seconds. <laughs> yes. 20 seconds left. Oh no! Yeah, problems there. Problems yeah, there. Yeah, down. Three, two, one. Come down and let's see how that's affected the final score. <laughs> Please, cans, you talk me through that last task. <laughs> I think that's right? really funny. Really funny. <laughs> OK, so... <laughs> James had a very tall tower until it was relevant, and then <laughs> down it went, so he came last. One point. Jess is tumbled because... Yeah, I had a caster aftershock. <laughs> so, two points to Jess. Three <laughs> points to Phil, who managed to stack three cans in 100 seconds. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but the two giants were Rod and Kerry, and Kerry just pipped it. She gets five points. Lovely. OK. <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now! <laughs>